Let's bring in Christy Noem, who knows about walls from her time in Congress and recently and currently as governor of South mm -hmm. Dakota, which neighbors Minnesota, where Walls mm -hmm. is governor. Uh, governor Noem, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. So again, you served, and I did too, with Tim Walls in Congress, mm -hmm. but you've had the privilege of uh, being a neighboring governor of Tim Walls. Tell us what you've seen. What kind of leader is he? Well, he's a bully, and he yeah. pushes mandates um, down on his people. In fact, we've seen a mass exodus of people out of Minnesota that have sought refuge in South Dakota, and they've come here to get away from what he's done to their families, how he's devastated their businesses by shutting them down, raising their taxes, increasing their costs, that they can no longer cash flow and provide for their families. So, listen, this is a completely different Tim Walls than what we served with, Sean. Uh, when I served with him in Congress, he cared about people having their Second Amendment rights. He cared about giving people flexibility and freedom. We sponsored legislation together. He was from a more conservative district of Minnesota, but he completely changed when he became governor. Uh, we think we saw the real Tim Walls that he had been hiding for several years. He's got ties to companies in China. You don't go to China 30 times to be a tourist, um, to look at the sites. You go there because you've got an affiliation with their government. You go there and you take students there to learn from them. If you think communism is the way to um, better protect people, which is what he truly does believe. And he's got ties to companies in China, as, such as the Beijing Genomic Institute, that he's funneled money to. And that company has ties to communist and CCP leaders. So, you know, he truly is someone that wants to undermine the United States of America. We cannot trust him by putting him in the White House. Well, you're right. He undermined the freedom of uh, his uh, his constituents in Minnesota. But you're right. We served with him in Congress. He was a moderate guy, right? Because mm -hmm. he had a he had yeah. a very re Republican leaning congressional district. But when he was unleashed uh, as a governor, we saw the true Tim Walls come out, and it was crazy. You mentioned uh, what's going on with the CCP. I want to talk about that. So um, mm -hmm. he taught. Uh, uh, in China uh, from 89 to 90. Uh, he visited the country 30 times. He got married on the anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. Um, he honeymooned in China. And to your point, he promoted Chinese communism as a teacher to his American students. So I think mm -hmm. what this does, Governor, is it begs the question, is Tim Walls a national security risk? Absolutely. I'm 100 percent convinced he's a national security risk. Uh, this man wants America to grow up and be more like China, which is the exact opposite of what our leaders should be doing. I have spent all of my time fighting China, and for 30 years I've been working in policy right. on protecting our food supply, and we've seen China not only manipulate our currency, steal our IP, treat us unfairly in trade agreements. They've also spied on us. They've come in and now, and they're taking and buying our land. I have banned them purchasing land and doing state contracts in South Dakota. The rest of the country needs to realize and wake up that we do not want a leader like Tim Walls and Kamala Harris in the White House because of how they would undermine our national security. It's a big concern, and I hope we start talking about it a little bit more, that you have to have people in the White House that truly want to protect us protect our republic, and fight socialism, fight Marxism, fight communism. That's not Tim Walls. You know, Tim Walls' uh, leadership has been so bad. You have the western mm -hmm. portion of Minnesota that's mm -hmm. asking to actually cede from Minnesota and join your state of South Dakota. Are you going to accept them if, it, uh, if that potentially happens? Are you going to take part of Minnesota, sure. Christy? Yeah, we'll take, we'll take anybody that wants to be more free. But it's amazing, if you look at the map of Minnesota, how little support he does have. The support he does have is in his bigger cities, but the vast That's majority it. of the land mass of Minnesota does not like his leadership, has left his leadership. We've had tens of thousands of people that have come from Minnesota and come to South Dakota because they find that he doesn't share their values, and he's crippled them and their economy, and they just can't stand it anymore and want to find somewhere else where they can raise their families and pursue the American dream. Well, I'm on the eastern border in Wisconsin, and I have the same thing. We mm -hmm. have people leaving Minnesota and coming to Wisconsin. They want more freedom, um, yeah, and yeah. and it's and it's and we love their money, but it's it's crowding our rural areas. I want to quickly uh, go to this governor because mm -hmm. um, new polling's come out since the DNC, mm -hmm. and we see the races are are very tight. Um, we have Harris winning in in Michigan, Georgia, and Nevada. Um, Trump up in North Carolina and Wisconsin, right? So the race has tightened from what it was. Mm -hmm between uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Um, I guess my theory here is that this is a DNC post-convention bump. Want to get your take mm -hmm. on the polling? Where is this race going? Should Donald Trump be concerned? No, I think President Trump is doing fantastic. He's out there working hard and talking to people about how their lives could be different if he was back in the White House. So yeah, the race is tight. 
but also the media has been helping Kamala have a great couple of last weeks. But I think the truth is coming out after Labor Day, more Americans are paying attention and they're paying attention to their pocketbooks and they're paying attention to what gas prices are and how difficult it is to buy the supplies that they need for their kids to go back to school and making hard decisions. So this is where President Trump shines because their lives were better off when he was president of the United States. And I'll be in Michigan and Wisconsin, Montana, down in Arizona as well, I think, as more people get out there and tell the story of, of what his leadership means to this country, what it means to families, what it means to women and wives and grandmas as we're running our businesses and our families, uh, raising them to be strong Americans. President Trump is the one who gives us the opportunity to do that. I, I tell the story all the time about when he was in the White House, he let me do my job. He let me be governor, make the best decisions for South Dakota. Uh, I've been done nothing since Joe Biden has been in the White House except be on defense, trying to protect our freedoms and our liberties. Uh, so there's consequences to leadership, and it matters who's in the White House. And we need President Trump back there as soon as possible. Well, the Duffy family went to South Dakota uh, during COVID, mm -hmm. and it truly was a free state. We were grateful for mm -hmm. that. And I think you're right. As we come through the summer when people are a little bit checked out as they're uh, mm -hmm. doing some more vacations and kids are off from school and we come back in September, that's when the American voters starts to pay attention, and Kamala mm -hmm. Harris doesn't have policies to fix the economy, doesn't have policies to fix the border. She created the border crisis. So we'll continue to watch. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, thank you for being with mm -hmm. me. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Have a All great right. day. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.